joining us is W.B. Raman, former India cricketer and also the head coach of the women's cricket team as we look forward to cricket in Asian Games. Also, firstly, thank you so much for speaking to us uh, on the Chinese Network. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Uh, so I want to start by asking you, uh, cricket in Asian Games, how are you looking at this opportunity for all the players that, that are going to be there in China representing the country? It's a great opportunity because not only uh, they would uh, realize what it is to represent India in a multi-sport uh, competition and uh, also they'll uh, get to interact with uh, other sports persons of the country and they'll understand how things work in uh, the other spheres of life and also they might have to get used to different uh, dynamics here in terms of accommodation and everything else because they've been used to traveling in a different way. They only yeah. go and uh, participate in a bilateral series and just pure cricket World Cup. So the conversational things will be in, will be restricted. But here, their horizons will be broadened and they'll also realize as to how uh, things happen in different spheres of life. It's a fantastic opportunity and I'm sure that they'll come back a lot more richer in every way possible after this experience. And so any players that you're looking forward to, I know you can possibly say all of them, but if they were to pick out one or two, uh, who would they be? Who are really looking forward to for them, uh, you know, to display uh, their potential? What we can do is we can restrict to looking at uh, certain few individuals in individual sport. In a team sport, we look at, <laughs> look at them as a team and uh, hope that the team goes on to win the gold medals and come back. It is a little heartbreaking that he's not even in the World Cup squad and not uh, uh, even there in the Asian Games. How do you look at this? No, Sanju Samson should go down as one of the most um, strange cases in Indian cricket because there's been a lot of talk about him having to be included. He gets included, sometimes he delivers, sometimes he doesn't. And then when he makes a case for himself, he's not picked. Uh, it's been really kind of um, difficult to understand what exactly is happening with him. Uh, all I can say is that uh, he's got to try and keep going and keep churning out runs whenever he uh, gets opportunities to play, whether for his state or for his franchise or for the national side. But as of now, I would perhaps say it's uh, hard lines for him uh, because uh, there was uh, a case for him to be in at least in this squad of the Asian Games because uh, in the recent ODAs that he played, he's done well. Of course, this is a T20 format and we know he's capable of um, uh, playing well enough uh, in the T20 format too. But um, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, hopefully, the selectors have had a word with him as to why he's not picked and uh, both sides are sure of uh, how things are to pan out in the future. So I'm saying while the Indian cricket team, both men's and women's, may have it slightly easier in the Asian Games, I'm asking a word of advice that you would want to give to them, irrespective. No, it's very important to uh, for the what if at all I were to have uh, something to say to them is to say that uh, enjoy the occasion and also learn uh, the the uh, nuances of what it's all about when uh, uh, you are representing the country. That's all I would like to say. And so realistically, do you see them bringing back gold medal in both men's and women? They have the talent, they have the ability, they have the relative experience when you compare it with other sites. And uh, I don't see any reason why they should not win. And I am really sort of uh, uh, burned by the fact that uh, these sites, uh, on the face of it, are capable enough of winning the gold medals.